Hello everyone, this is Chris from Spoon Graphics. I hope you've all had a good year so far. It's been a while since I last created a year-end roundup of my best performing tutorials, the last one being way back in 2018. So I thought I'd take a look at my greatest hits over the last 12 months of uploads to see which tutorials performed the best. I had a big hitter this year which really helped my channel grow, so stick around till the end to find out which tutorial it was. But first, let's take a look at the latest channel stats. Throughout 2021, my channel managed to accumulate 4.9 million views and gain 73,000 subscribers, making the current total 468,904 subscribers at the time of recording, so it's not too far away from the big milestone of 500,000. Well, the Social Blade website predicts another 100 days yet, so maybe it's something to look forward to next year. So skipping past all the tutorials that didn't make the cut, coming in at 10th place this year was my illustrator tutorial showing how to create a money text effect with 13,000 views. In this video I show how you can create a vintage style engraved text effect, just like the illustrations you see on paper money or banknotes, using nothing but illustrator's appearance panel. At 4 minutes 18 seconds it's also my shortest video this year. Coming in at number 9 is my tutorial how to create a vintage aircraft nose art pinup effect in Photoshop. This tutorial was actually a remake of the same effect from back in 2019, but using other stock images to create a different result. Given its popularity I'll have to start recycling more tutorials every couple of years. Another tutorial that was kinda recycled was my video how to create a vintage badge logo in Adobe Illustrator. I've uploaded several tutorials showing how to create retro or vintage logos, but the great thing about this topic is you can produce different results every time. While some of the techniques are the same, you can still learn something new from each one. The video with the most number of likes, with the exception of the one in first place, was my tutorial how to create a glowing effect in Adobe Photoshop. In this one I create a surreal fantasy image by giving a deer a pair of illuminated lightsaber antlers but the same process can be used to add lighting effects to all kinds of objects within a scene. In 6th place is a video I've referenced in many subsequent tutorials since I uploaded it in May, which has probably helped with its overall total of almost 17,000 views. This tutorial shows how to manually create the distressed letterpress print effect that I often add to designs at the end of a tutorial using my free ink stamp texturizer download from Spoon Graphics. A slightly unusual tutorial that turned out to perform pretty well and land itself in 5th place with 17,500 views was my walkthrough of how I designed a holographic sticker for a new little business I set up that has been growing well throughout this year. It was a great opportunity to explain how to design something for print and actually show the finished product. Next up with just over 20,000 views is another retro badge tutorial, but this time the design is more of a national park style patch. So this was another tutorial where I made use of a photoshop embroidery action. The techniques used in this tutorial can actually be used to create all kinds of artwork, so it's a good one to watch if you're looking to get the hang of Illustrator. We're into the top 3 now, so in 3rd place with just over 25,000 views, it's quite a simple tutorial that I remember thinking might be too basic, but I went ahead with it anyway. And I'm glad that I did because it seems to have established good YouTube search rankings. Hopefully this beginner photoshop tutorial showing how to create a torn paper collage effect will go on to accumulate lots more views over coming years. We're at my second most popular video now with just 28,000 views. This shows how much the number one tutorial has really exploded. But before we get to that, this rain effect photoshop tutorial started out with below average performance, but went on to establish good search rankings for rain effect photoshop, Photoshop Rain Effect, Rain Photoshop, and Photoshop Rain, so it seems people really want to make it rain. And at number one, a tutorial that has really given my channel a boost this year, at almost a million views, my Neon Light Effect Photoshop tutorial. This video was posted in April, but it really took off in June for some reason. YouTube analytics show the majority of views have come from the browse features, with YouTube search coming in second. So it seems I struck gold with the YouTube algorithm and it decided to actually show my video to people. This one video alone introduced an additional 20,000 subscribers, so if you are one of those, thank you for joining us, I hope you've enjoyed some of my other tutorials since April. 
So there you have my most popular videos from 2021. Links to all of them are down in the description if you want to check them out in full. Let me know down in the comments if any of my other tutorials stood out to you, or if there's any you found particularly interesting or useful. Otherwise, thank you very much for all your support, and I'll see you next year.